Hi everybody, I am Mr23 and today we are going to learn new ways to use the ALT key. The ALT key is one of the most important and powerful keys in Photoshop, as you will see in this tutorial. I ensure that if you watch it until the end, you will increase your workflow and your life will get much easier. So let's get started. For today's tutorial, I'm going to use this photo manipulation that I just did a few days ago. I hope you like it. So tip number one. I don't know if you do it, but I'm used to zoom in or zoom out really really often when I work. So for that I hold ALT and I use the mouse wheel to zoom in or to zoom out. Tip number two. You can duplicate any layer if you hold ALT and let's say I want to duplicate my logo, I hold ALT and I drag it with the mouse and as you can see it duplicates that layer. You can also do that here on the layers, you can hold that layer that you want to duplicate and drag it down or up and you duplicate that layer. You can also do that by using the arrows. So let's say we want to duplicate this text, this trap text. So use the arrows on your keyboard and now if I press Alt and I press the up arrow, as you can see, it does a copy of that layer. Tip number three. Let's say we have a lot of layers of our, on our screen. If I want to see my logo up close, I hold Alt and I click on its icon. As, as you can see, it goes really fast to my logo. If I click on my uh, uh, layer with the whole image, it will display the whole screen with that layer. Now if I want to go to this folder, to this group, to the rows, it will go really fast to that layer. If I want to go, I don't know, to the text, it goes really fast to that text. And anytime I want, it goes really fast. I have a lot of layers here, so anytime I want to go to a certain layer, it goes really fast to that layer. Tip number four. Let's say you have some styles applied to a layer, some attributes. So let's add a stroke to my logo. As you can see, it's really visible, it's orange. And I want to copy that uh, layer style to my text down below. So I hold Alt and I drag the effects, only the effects, to my text. And as you can see, it applies that orange on my text. Tip number five. If you use the brush, let's make a new layer, let's create a new layer, take the brush tool by pressing B and then as you can see it will brush with the colors that I have selected here on the colors. Alright, so now it is a blue color, but let's say I want to paint with a certain color from my screen. And how do I do it? Really fast, I hold Alt, you'll see that the eyedropper will appear on the screen. Yeah, this one and then if I want to paint with green I click on the greenish colors from the leaves and then I paint. If I want to paint with a certain color from my rose I click here and then I paint. Tip number six. Let's say we want to clip a layer inside another layer. What that means? Let's create a new layer. For this tutorial I'll create a rectangle and I'll fill it with uh, the same orange so it's visible. Let's put this one here. I'm going to move by dragging it under my logo layer and now I want to include my logo inside this rectangle and to be visible only inside my orange rectangle. So I hold Alt, I press between the layers and then as you can see it's not longer on the screen. That means that it's still there, okay, if we press Alt and click between the layers, it will go back to the previous state. So press Alt, clip it inside that rectangle, all right, and now take the Move tool and move it because you know it's there and move it anywhere you want, okay? So now it's visible only inside my rectangle. Tip number seven. Let's say you want to see on the screen only one layer. Let's say we want to see only the logo. 
we hold Alt and click on the, this little eye next to our layer. So as you can see, it shows me only that layer and all the other layers are invisible. If you press again, it will show up. Don't forget that during this time, do not release the Alt. So once you press Alt, do not release it until you go back. All right, let's see if I want to show only the rows, I click on the rows by holding Alt. Tip number eight, let's zoom in. Let's say we want to select the eye. So take the lasso tool by pressing L and now make a selection of the eye. And at some point you want to delete parts of the selection. How do we do that? We press Alt and you see a minus appears next to our lasso. So if we select another part, it will delete that part that we selected. Tip number nine. When you usually create a mask, it has the white color. That means that everything that is white on the mask is visible on the screen. But if you hold Alt while you're creating the mask, it will invert the color and will have the black color. So what, how is this helpful for me? Let's go back. So let's create a normal mask. It has the white color. So if we use the brush on that white color and we paint with black, you'll see that it will hide that part of the mask that we paint with black. But let's say we do another mask with the black color. So hold Alt and click on the mask. And as you can see, everything is gone from my logo. Now, if we use the white on our black mask, what we paint with white, it will show up on the screen. So this is really important when you work with lights or shadow, you can hide them or show them depending on what you need to do. Tip number 10. Let's select the number 23 from my logo. All right, so when you select something, if you press a mask, be sure that you are on that layer. If you press the mask, only what you selected remains on the screen. All right, let's undo. But if you hold Alt and press on the mask, it will hide what you selected. Tip number 11. If you want to navigate through your layers, you can do that by holding Alt and click on your keyboard on your open or close brackets the left or the right one. If I want to go up, for example, I click on the right or the close bracket and it will go up. When it reaches the top, it will go again from the bottom. If I want to go down, I press the left bracket, the open bracket, and I will go down. Remember that it navigates only on what you have open on your screen. If you have all the groups closed as I have, it will all won't go inside your groups. So if you want to navigate through your groups, layers, you have to open them by clicking this little arrow. As you can see, it has the down arrow now. So if I go on the top layer and I press Alt and the left or the open bracket, it will go down and it will go inside those layers. So everything that's open on your groups, it will navigate through them. Tip number 12. So let's say you want to select the eye. Let's zoom in on the eye and now use the pen tool and select with a pen and you create a path. On this path, let's zoom in more. As you can see, you have little points on your selection. If you normally do a selection, as you can see, it has a lot of curves. Now, if I press Alt, and it will remove the curves and it will do straight angles. As you can see, now we have straight angles. If you want to go back, let's say to this one, hold Alt again and drag left or right. And as you can see, we have curves again. You can do that to any point you want, you won't lose anything. But sometimes you need straight lines and maybe you don't do them from the beginning and then you go back to your selection. All right, so please leave me a comment 
if you learned something new today and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.